Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I would like to give a special thanks to Mercedes-Benz of Cutler Bay for giving me time with the 2022 E53 sedan. If you're in the market for a Mercedes, you can go check out Mercedes-Benz and ask for Lewis. He will get you into a new uh, pre-owned vehicle. But let's talk about pricing here for the E53 sedan. Starting price is at $75,000, including destination. This one stickers for $89,840. But let's talk about the front styling of the AMG E53 sedan. Let's talk about the exterior styling here of the AMG E53 sedan. As you guys can see, very aggressive styling here. And keep in mind, my model does not have that fire breathing V8 underneath the hood. It does have the three liter inline six. We'll talk about the powertrain specs in a few moments. But looking at the headlight modules here, these are an LED projector headlight with an automatic low and high beam with this LED turn signal and LED daytime running light. Unfortunately, Mercedes does not do a sequential turn signal. This area down here is functional. There's front parking sensors. And as you guys can see here, the grille is blacked out. It doesn't have that chrome finish to it. That's also the three points of Mercedes emblem front and center also at the front facing camera and there's the AMG badge right here on the actual grill but I want you guys to comment down below in the comment section and tell what you guys think about the exterior styling here of the E53 sedan looking at the side proportions here this has a 115.7 inch wheelbase with an overall length of 194.3 so really good proportions here from the sedan model but looking at these tires and wheels here, I like the five spoke rim design here. It looks really good with the white exterior color. It does have this gloss black finish to it. There is the AMG brake calipers. The rotors are gonna be cross drilled and ventilated. These are a 245, 55 tire. That then is 20 inch rim design. So pretty good rim design here. Like I mentioned, I like the five spoke design. There is the Turbo Formatic Plus badge here on the side fender. Also with this blacked out mirror cap with this LED side marker. And up top, my model does have this large panoramic sunroof here to let light into the cabin. It also has this brown interior. We'll talk about that in a few moments. But, make, but making our way to the rear here of the E53 sedan, looking at this integrated rear spoiler. I wish Mercedes would have painted this black. There's this three-pointer Mercedes emblem here. Also with the AMG badge, there's this chrome bar that cuts between the taillights. There's the E53 badge right there. Looking at these taillights, I like the taillight design here. They're full LED, of course which is a turn signal, brake light, and reverse light. And looking down here at the lower part of the fascia, there's quad tip exhaust with rear parking sensors. And the rear diffuser does look very aggressive. Open up the cargo back here. This does have a power opening trunk. Once it opens up, it looks to be around 16 cubic feet of space. Mercedes doesn't have the actual a cubic feet of space on their website so i'm just going to estimate that is around 16 plus cubic feet of space underneath here they do give you some underfloor storage and i think this is a nice feature here so if you guys have groceries and whatnot you can just press down on this and it does reveal a deep storage you can probably put your purse or a couple of items so it doesn't roll around in the actual cargo area and to basically lift it back up just press that button right there as you guys can see now it becomes a, an actual tray but pushing it back in and you can fold the seats down if you would like but let's hop into the interior of the e53 sedan sitting inside the interior of the mercedes-benz e53 sedan as you guys can see here my model does have this nice two-tone color combination which i do like it does complement the actual white exterior but reaching over here to shut the door of the e53 sedan the door sounds very solid the push button start is going to be on the dash you guys are greeted by the e53 uh, emblem right there but as you guys can see here it does have the eq boost so it does start up very quietly but as you guys can see here these are these large two 12.3 inch displays it does support apple carplay and android auto going into the apple carplay as you guys can see it just takes up the small portion of the actual screen here if you guys want the full screen of apple carplay you have to look at the s class and also some of the newer mercedes-benz products but let's talk about the door panel materials very quickly here nice leather it does have three level heated and cool seats with the finish to the actual speaker cover which is a metal finish there is this wood trim here three person memory seats there's also your seating controls here of course mercedes-benz like real metal accent to door handle your lock controls as you guys can see here very beautiful ambient lighting you can see it in the daytime nice stitching here on the actual grab handle the switch gear of course is very up to part it's mercedes you can power fold the mirrors in via this button right here and as you guys can see they will power fold in and out once you click that button there's your trunk release button there additional cup holder and storage space your headlight controls are here electronic parking brake this is a power tilt and telescoping wheel with really good adjustability and range. There's paddle shifters. There's your wind wiper stock and turn signal stock. This is how you put the vehicle into reverse. As you switch up here on the stock here, if you guys are coming from a Tesla, it's gonna be it's gonna feel right at home. It does reveal a nice backup camera with good resolutions and whatnot. There's different angles around this vehicle. So of course I wouldn't expect nothing less from Mercedes. They're known for really they're known for having good camera quality. And to switch down to going to drive, and you press P to go into park there. Like I mentioned, nice paddles. This is for your drive mode selector, which is sport. Sport Plus, you guys can hear that three liter inline six is getting a little, it does have a little snarl from it. 
but there's comfort individual so and slip and slippery so there's a lot of different uh drive modes that you guys can you know custom to your liking over here is going to be these touch sensitive buttons here you can adjust the volume and whatnot go back to home here i'll go here to the amg performance page it does show you vehicle once it boots up and whatnot it does show your cooling temperature your torque so you can customize this uh screen to your liking here as you guys can see it does show you where the torque is being split to that's also a dynamic setting or select setting here you can also do individual so you can customize the drive you can have it in reduce moderate sport or dynamic so you can customize this screen to your liking like i mentioned the apple carplay is very responsive and whatnot the screen is very responsive in general this is the mbux system it's probably one of their older systems because it doesn't offer that wireless capability like you get on the new s class like i mentioned there's the four air vents here nice wood trim the dash has this nice leather finish to it there's this frameless mirror here there's going to be led lights throughout the cabin here if I can find it, once you press the button there, it does show you very bright LEDs. And above me, as you guys can see here, there's this large panoramic summer, but there's this bar that kind of eats into the actual lighting. We'll talk about that in the actual back seat. There's some shortcut buttons over here in the center console. Open up this. My iPhone 13 Pro Max does fit. If you guys have it connected to the Type-C port, there's no Type-A ports in this car. So you guys have to update the USB cord. There's two cup holders here. There's this trackpad here. If you guys don't want to touch the actual screen, you can touch this area right here. There's your drive mode selector, like I mentioned. It does show you different settings and whatnot. It does change the actual background of the actual vehicle. And there's 64 different color lightings here um, in the E53 sedan. You can also make the exhaust be quiet or you can open up the baffle. There's this automatic start stop. You can access the cameras, your traction control. There's your suspension settings and whatnot. Open up this, it does reveal a double hand center console. There's two type C ports in there. A decent amount of storage. The armrest here is gonna be nice and padded in leather. Looking at the glove compartment, it does reveal a deep storage. And the passenger also has three level heated and cool seats, also with three person memory seats as well. Just like the driver, the seats are very supportive and comfortable. But overall, the interior of the E53 sedan does impress. And I'm super impressed. That technology that mercedes offers but it does have the older mbux interface but if you guys want to get that newer interface you have to look at the s class and some of the newer products before getting into the interior of the e53 let's talk about the door panel materials very quickly here as you guys can see i like the nice leather nice stitching here the speaker cover does have this nice metal finish to it there is this nice wood trim the door handle is going to be a real metal accented door handle the switch gear feels very nice of course it's mercedes there's this nice stitching here on the actual door panel this area here is nice and padded and down here is going to be additional cup holder space i'm surprised that mercedes didn't put amg in the actual door sill in the back seats but as you guys can see here my model does have this nice brown interior like i mentioned uh, but getting back here mercedes says you have around 37.6 inches of legroom the foot space underneath the driver's seat is kind of tight so if i was you guys i kind of wear sandals and if you guys want to have your feet to be crushed but looking here there's two map pockets for storage there's rear air vents pressing this area down here it does reveal some storage with a 12 volt this hump here does intrude into the middle passenger seating so i'll put someone here that i really don't like Putting this armrest down here, it does reveal some storage. But also with two over-engineer cup holders, which I think is a nice design from Mercedes. And above me, there is this nice panoramic sunroof, but this bar kind of eats into the actual lighting back here in the back seat. But overall, the back seat of the E53 does feel very spacious. Let's talk about the powertrain specs here for the AMG E53 sedan. You can get a fire-breathing V8, but my model does not have that. This has Mercedes-Benz 3-liter inline 6, which makes 429 horsepower and 384 pound-feet of torque. It is paired with a 9-speed automatic transmission designed by Mercedes-Benz. This is also paired with EcoBoost, so basically that eliminates the actual starter belts to give this vehicle more of a smoother start. Fuel economy is rated at 21 in the city, 29 on the highway, and 24 combined. Oh, somebody was speeding. <laughs> Popo got you, bro. And she was speeding. I believe it. So, sign off in the 2022 Mercedes-Benz AMG E53 sedan. This has Mercedes-Benz 3-liter turbocharged inline 6. This powertrain makes 429 horsepower and 384 pound-feet of torque. It's paired with a 9-speed automatic transmission, which is very fast to shift. A really nice transmission is an in-house design transmission by Mercedes-Benz. Let's talk about the driver's assistance. It does have emergency braking with four collision warning, also with active lane keeping assist, with lane departure, with real cross traffic alert, blind spot monitoring. So all the nice features that you guys would want in a luxury sedan, Mercedes does offer it. Really good driver's assistance features. I tested out in some of their other products. The visibility is really good, even out of the rear. Very great visibility. These side mirrors are a pretty decent size. 
Fuel economy for this three liter inline six is rated at 21 in the city, 29 on the highway, and 24 combined. So good gas mileage here from the uh, inline six here. Um, when I first got into this vehicle, it was saying that I had around 477 miles until empty. So great range, cruising range. It, it kind of beats an electric vehicle when it comes to the actual range and also time to fill up a car. So I think gas powered cars are still gonna be more superior over an electric vehicle. But <laughs> this thing is in a Sport Plus setting, so it does um, have a little more eager to the transmission, the throttle response, the transmission and whatnot. So it does basically get up and go very quickly here. I think zero to 60 time may be in the high four second range or maybe in the five second range. Uh, I did drive the V8 model of the E53 sedan maybe over a year ago then that powertrain was just beautiful. But this powertrain here is really good as well. It does have a good sound from it. <laughs> and you can kind of hear some of the crackles and pops from the exhaust. <laughs> and this thing will just get up and go. It's very, very, very good with the power delivery. <laughs> that was beautiful. That was beautiful. And going over some of the bumps and whatnot, this vehicle does ride very smooth. But if you want to get up and go a little bit, very quick shifting nine speed automatic transmission. Like I mentioned, it is a in-house design transmission. The materials in here, of course, I wouldn't expect nothing less as Mercedes Benz. I do like this nice two-tone color combination, which is a brown interior. It looks really good with the nice black as well. It is complemented by this nice white exterior. So really nice color combo that you guys get here in the E53 sedan. You can also get a red if I'm not mistaken, but let's do a launch here and see what happens. Foot on the brake and accelerator. Oh, shit. And like I mentioned, I think zero to 60, maybe in the high four or five second range. So you can get off the line very quickly. I think with the V6, uh, the V8, it was even more quicker compared to this three liter inline six. And this inline six does have a nice snarl from the powertrain. As you guys can hear or heard before, it did have some nice snaps and popples from the exhaust, which I think sounds very beautiful. Like I mentioned, it's a nine speed auto. That's third gear. But here on these back roads where I normally come film at, the roads are not the best. They're very choppy, but the E53 sedan does a really good job of soaking up the bumps and whatnot. This does have adaptive air suspension, so it does smooth out the ride. Let's do another run just because we can. And it sounds pretty good. This also has EcoBoost, so basically it does um, eliminate the starter belt, so it does have a softer or smoother uh, takeoff start. But I'm not gonna floor, I'm not gonna brake torque. I'm just gonna floor it from a stop. Oh, shit. <laughs> and this powertrain is very good compared with this nine-speed auto. And this nine-speed, like I mentioned, is just very aggressive to shift. And that exhaust, beautiful. All from a three liter inline six. I would expect those characteristics from a V8, but this three, light, this three liter inline six is just paired very beautiful with this nine speed auto. After spending time with the 2022 AMG E53 sedan, hope you guys have enjoyed this review here. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Drive One Reviews and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you all in the next review.